Hey guys, Tien here from BlueSense Digital. How do you fix the price mismatch error in the Google Merchant Center? So unfortunately, I don't have any live examples of this because our accounts are in such good shape. But just to show you the process here, so if we dive into this account for a second, generally speaking, what causes these price mismatch errors, if I just go into a specific product over here, is if the pricing changes on the website for whatever reason, that price would then get updated in the feed once the feed resyncs between obviously the website and the merchant center. Now there is a delay between when the price is changed on the website and when the price gets resynced or when the feed gets resynced to the merchant center, therefore matching the two. So obviously the merchant center price matching with the Shopify price. Now what happens and what causes that error is if between that time where you update the product on the website, but it hasn't yet resynced through to the merchant center, if the bot scans your website and scans the merchant center to check for you know mismatches during that period, it'll flag that product with a price mismatch error. And you can continuously get these for that exact reason, and it's just because of that feed sync delay. So to remove that feed sync delay, come up to the top here to tools and settings, go to automatic improvements over here on the right, and you wanna turn all of these on. Now, just to give a bit more context into what these are. So as you can see here, all of mine are turned on already. So again, just to, just to reiterate or just to explain how this works. So if the price or the availability this is pretty much the same concept, the price mismatch error or the availability mismatch error. This is essentially the same concept and it's due to that feed sync delay. How this works is as you, or as soon as you change the price on your website, the price on your shopping listing will change, but the price in your shopping feed will remain the old price until the feed has resynced. So, it, it'll look all over the place for the first you know, 12 hours or so until the feed is resynced, but this will ensure that when the bot scans your shopping listing and scans your website, there's no mismatch between those two prices um, until that feed has updated. And obviously the same goes for the availability. So if the product goes out of stock and that hasn't yet been updated in the merchant center, the bot won't flag a disapproval because it'll be automatically updated through this automatic update section. So just to reiterate that the price on your shopping ad itself will match the price on your website, but for the first 12 hours or so until the feed is resynced, the price in the feed itself will still be the old price. So that was it, hopefully that was a help. Like, subscribe, we'll see you in the next one.